Uh, environmental activists and developing nations have criticised the UN Climate Summit as a failure, saying the Glasgow Agreement has fallen far short of what's necessary to prevent a climate catastrophe. Experts believe that uh, despite the pledges made at COP26, global warming is still on track to be much higher than the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit set in the Paris climate deal in 2015. Not 24 hours earlier, COP26 President Alok Sharma was fighting back the tears. The deal was done, but with watered-down amendments from China and India on the phasing out of coal. And the goal of keeping the 1.5 degree target alive seeming farther away than ever. On Sunday, he said the coal giants had to answer to the smaller island nations at the forefront of the climate battle, fighting rising sea levels. These are countries on the front line of climate change. Uh, for them, you know, 1.5 uh, is you know, really very bad news. Two degrees is a death sentence. So of course it matters to them, and there was lots of emotion there. Um, and in terms of uh, you know, China and India, uh, I mean, you know, they will, on this particular issue, have to explain themselves to the developing countries. The UK Prime Minister hailed the agreement, but was disappointed it couldn't go further on coal. Those for whom climate change is already a matter of life and death, uh, who can only stand by as their islands are submerged, their farmland turned to desert, their homes battered by storms. They demanded a high level of ambition for this summit. And while many of us were willing to go there, that wasn't true of everybody. India was not willing to go there. Leaving the conference, the environment minister claimed India remained committed to green energy, but his delegation had rejected the phasing out of coal, insisting the language was changed to phasing down. The Glasgow document, however, is the first time that coal has even been mentioned in a UN climate agreement. The UN's climate chief said a compromise on coal beats no deal. Regardless of whether you are um, an island country or you are a big country, an emerging economy like India, um, a, we really need to get everyone on board. The Glasgow Agreement claims to have kept the 1.5 goal alive, but that might not be enough for those already living with the disastrous effects of climate change. Let's take a closer look at this uh, with uh, Lisa Badham, who speaks on climate policy for the German Green Party. Uh, welcome to DW. Um, let's talk about India. Why do you think India is facing such heavy criticism for watering down the language on coal, when countries like Germany, for instance, emit four times as much carbon from coal per capita as India? So um, I think it's the task to reduce CO2 emissions uh, of all countries and especially uh, the big emitters. I mean, that's clear. And India could have had a more constructive role in all of that, but I also um, agree to you that Germany and Europe, they didn't deliver. So the role of Germany and Europe at this COP was not enough for me. And clearly we cannot get to an ambitious agreement in climate politics without those players and this will be our task for for the next years right and it, it does seem to have been that the the big countries the developed countries like germany and the us who still seem unwilling to pay for the environmental damage uh, they've inflicted on the world for generations uh, i think uh, clearly there's uh, there's been alignment between the developing countries not paying for the damages and not taking responsibilities and the unwillingness of developing countries to to raise their ambitions. So I think we have to tackle those two questions uh, at the same time. And still there's not enough um, action be made and especially the US and Europe, they, they didn't um, lay enough money on the table for the topic of adaptation and for the topic of loss and damage. OK. Thank you for, uh, for joining us. Lisa Bardem from uh, Germany's Green Party. Thank you.